Hello everybody, welcome. I'm Karen Barno. I'm here to talk to you. You know, I love leadership lessons and I love lessons that we can learn. And I think, in my opinion, Tiger Woods is a fascinating lesson to learn the importance of knowing who you are. Because if you don't know who you are at your fiber, at your inner being, you'll struggle. And think when things, when the who you are doesn't line up any longer, or the who you think you are doesn't line up any longer with who you are, you struggle. If your childhood stories are no longer coming true or no longer fit, you can see where you get yourself in trouble. He's a perfect example. From the minute he was born, he had somebody gave him a golf club. And somebody told him, you will be the world's greatest golfer. In all of the world, that is who you are. And from the time he was two, three, four or five years old, he was on TV, on talk shows, hitting golf balls. He was raised to be a golfer. He was raised to be the world's best golfer. And he achieved that and more. The accolades, you know, were constantly coming into him. He was winning tournament after tournament. I mean, people still talk about how great he is. And they'll probably talk about how great he was for the next 30, 40 years. I'm not sure anybody can match his greatness because that's all he was. That's all he did. Morning, noon, and night, the people talked about it. He would be on the golf course nonstop. Now we realize after, you know, after the story's been told that he, he was doing some other stuff as well. But then he hurt his back. And then his marriage fell apart. And then he was on TV for the very bad Thanksgiving act, you know, outcome of the accident. You know, and he kept starting and stopping his career. He, he'd go out, he'd play a tournament, he'd be awful back back and forth until recently when he got pulled over for who knows what whether it was a you know it was prescription medication that part doesn't matter that part of the story doesn't define him what defines him is who is he and i think if you asked tiger he wouldn't know because he's no longer a golfer they've stripped away that identity and he has to go out and figure out who he is today and and i think sometimes that's the hardest struggle is who you are you know i always tell a story of a friend of mine who, you know, in Phoenix, we have this, we have the big waste management golf tournament. It's huge. If you've never been here for it, you must go there. I think they call it the greatest show on grass. They have close to a million people there on Saturdays. It is crazy town. The 16th hole with the sky boxes are a blast. Been there a blast. The guy that, it's done every year by the Thunderbirds. And the Grand Poobah, and I'm pretty sure that's what they call him, the Grand Poobah, is the guy that oversees the whole thing. And my friend oversaw it for a year. And you'd talk to me, be like, Karen, I'm so busy, my phone's ringing off the hook, all these decisions, you build up, ramp up to the, you know, the golf tournament. And I saw him about two weeks after the golf tournament, I'll never forget what he said to me. He said, you know, the day after the golf tournament, my phone stopped ringing. Nobody called. No texts. There was a new grand poobah. My time was done. And he said, I'm good with that, I expected that. And he was just kind of telling me how it felt. And I so listened and thought, oh my gosh. If you become so wrapped up in, in your job or your hobby or your occupation or what others have defined you. And others defined me as being special needs. Others defined me as being a poor speaker because I had a speech impediment. Others defined me as being geeky and dumb and all kinds of stuff. I could have chosen to allow them to define me and never take the path I took or define myself. Then I got into this job I'm in now, and for a couple years it was heady. I mean, I'd go places and they'd have the pops I like, and it was, you know, oh my gosh, here you are. And I had to say to myself one day, Karen, your phone will quit ringing the day you quit working here. So who are you? And I went on a path to figure out who I was, because that's more important than all the trappings, because all those trappings are going to get stripped away at some point. And as Tiger is experiencing it, it gets stripped away and you'll get stripped down to your essence. And unfortunately for him, it's being done publicly on a public stage. And if you don't pay attention to the universe, the universe will keep, keep piling it on and piling on until you finally wake up and say, okay, who am I? Help me figure this out. Don't get to that area. Don't get to that point in your life where you don't know who you are. You, be, you so closely identify with becoming, you know, um, Delaney's mom or, um, you know, the club champion golf person or I run you know a, a not-for-profit or I'm the best you know I do the best 
marathons or the best, you know, whatever they call it, extreme athlete marathons. And that's how you define yourself. Or you define yourself by what your parents said. You know, oh, you're always going to be the best dancer until you can't dance anymore. Or, you know, you're the, you're the smartest in the class until you get into a bigger classroom. Or you're the greatest basketball player and you probably, you know, you are in high school and grade school and you get to college and then you get to the pros and it's not so easy. But you've defined yourself by being this great athlete. Don't fall for the trappings. Don't fall for how others tell you, how others define you. You have to take time and define yourself. And it's not a journey that, that is easy or it's not a journey you can take and be done in a week. I've been trying to figure out who I am for years. And the journey will always continue because as I decide who I am, then I have to decide, do I like that person? You know, do I like the Karen that is kind of short-tempered? Probably not, so let's reframe that. Um, do I like the Karen that can kind of be a little bit walked on? No, not so much. Let's reframe that. And then you swing back and forth until you hit your middle ground. Figure out who you are. Because if you don't know who you are, you're going to wake up one day and you're going to look around and say, whose life am I living? This isn't my life. So take time and look at, at Tiger's lessons. And the fact that if you don't know who you are at your core, not how others define you, not how you define yourself, who are you? Outside of being somebody's wife, husband, spouse, mother, aunt, uncle, father, career, business, magazines, how, to, how the newspapers define you or the magazines define you, who are you and how do you define you? And if you need help with this, jump over if you're on my Facebook page, go over to my Transform Your Life class. And it's an online course right now because it's just being launched. It's only $47. The price will rise probably sometime in mid-June. But for $47, it's five videos packed with a workbook to help you answer that question. To help you decide who you are because you may decide when you when the first time and the first time I looked at who I was who am I I didn't like my answer so I took time to change it and this will take you through the path of how to transform your life and become the person you want to be if you change your life and change your thinking you'll change your life you just need to find the why in your childhood stories and who are you Thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you later. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.